friend. Kind of reluctant to do this, are you? <laughs> I don't even have. All right. Maybe I should just have you hold the microphone, or just tilt it. I don't fancy you holding that microphone. Joel Stewart, everybody. All right. It's gonna be like your head here. So the microphone will be like right here. It'll be awesome. You're gonna have to imagine a cord on it. Oh, that's where your hand is. I'm doing this in pen. I was told to never do it in pen. So here I am. Doing it in pen. I wish this took up more of your face. He's gonna have a big ear there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a caricature. It's a caricature of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is terrible. So you have glasses here. You need to be like, this is me. And I'd be like, yeah, man, that was you. I'll save it with the. It's like the microphone covers up your face, though. This looks like Gary Larson. Here. <laughs> yeah. It's like half a Picasso so far. Drop my pen on the floor. Didn't need it anyways. Didn't need it anyways. It's holding you back. I'm gonna use a Copenhagen blue. Okay, no, it's Peacock blue. Dollar store don't have cool names like Bob Ross uses. Oh, I'm gonna use this new paint that Joel got for me. It's white. Oh, I gotta take it apart apparently. So, what do you think about art, Joel? It's very inspiring, you know? You find art inspiring? can be. It, it can be. Whoa. I've never used non-dollar store paint <laughs> before right now. And it's like, not water. It's like, it's more like paint that you see on TV. <laughs> I should get like, some black paint right ready to go too. Your ear is going to be half the painting. Alright. Are you just stoked to be on my YouTube show again? A different one, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely, you know. What was the last one? GP does PG? That was a right. podcast we did. And then we did a playlist, which we didn't do on camera. So we got inspired. We were watching Bob Ross paint. And do you think he's a better painter than I am? He does oil paints, and yeah, he, he, so, he knows a lot of techniques. Uh, he has a lot of different brushes, you know. And... Hmm. But you know? I do know. Every painter has his own own thing, you know? And Bob Ross does oil paintings. I was so confused about that for a long time growing up. You know, I wish this was more like a real close-up. Why am I even bother painting your hand? Do... I hope people aren't watching this trying to learn painting techniques from me. That's something that Bob Ross had. Techniques. Happy mistakes. Happy little, little mistakes. He didn't talk about that on the episodes we watched. Yeah, this is one great piece of art right here, happening. This is inspired, as you'd say. Some next level... This is like Bob Ross wanted to paint. He's like, he wish he could paint it this good. Oops, I fucked up real big time there. Happy mistakes. Happy mistakes. What if I'm not even painting you this whole time? 
This looks like... I'm just holding the microphone. I gave you a microphone to hold, but what if it's just a waste of time? I know what a microphone looks like. Maybe you could just put it up and act more natural. What would you be doing naturally if I wasn't painting you? Uh, Watching Netflix? Probably just be sitting in a chair. Sitting in a chair. So I got you in your natural habitat. <laughs> Oh, I found I found a cool blue. That would have been nice to know six seconds ago, six hours ago. All right, but now we're black. I don't even see black. Well, there it is. Big year, eh? A big year. 2019? This year or last year? What? <laughs> Good year. Are you talking about tires now? Good year tires. Big year in the painting. The big year? Year? You know, year? Oh, the year from yeah, earlier. Big year. I thought you were talking about the year for some reason. No. <laughs> I drew your ear humongously big in your glasses. I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep it. I don't think. <laughs> so you're saying you could paint like Bob Ross? Probably could. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Won't we'll know until you try. You know. That's exactly what I thought growing up as a kid. But then he uses like really good paints, and the paints that I have aren't really good. That's what I typically find. Ah, you can make any paint look good. Well, I started having some success, I guess. But not tonight, I don't think. I don't think this is going to be very <laughs> successful. Too much black. It's kind of looking gray now. Added a bit of white in there. Should have just went for that classic first blue I started with. That Copenhagen blue. You have to mix both the blues together? I don't know. Yeah, but the other blue is more, it's like it's more black mixed into it already. Mm. I'm going to put that up so hard. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this outline done. This one usually takes the most time. But I think I should have used more of the space of the painting for, the, for you. Which is apparently who I'm attempting to paint. <laughs> That's the thing, Bob Ross always talks constantly about what he's painting. He always has a story to go with his painting. Yeah, and the cabin that he wants to live in. It would be nice to have a cat. But he always paints like outdoor paintings. And like you said, he paints with oils. I'm painting with acrylics, mostly dollar store. Let's work on that microphone now. I already have a lot of white and black out. So I'll just use that for a minute. See how that looks. Black is still an overpowering color compared to this white. Even though it's thick. Drop of black to thing of white? Mm hmm. Oh, well, it seems to be coming out good now. Yeah. Microphone time. I'm just gonna make this a real sloppy painting. We only have 
a few minutes of airtime before we have to cut to a commercial break. An intermission? An intermission. No one no one buys any airtime from me yet. Though it has not been publicly posted for sale. So I'm just trying to get the really easy parts painted out of the way. Before you get into the detail. To the detail of the hard place, that would be like the person in the face. All right. Now there's some lines in that phone. It's kind of like the same color as the back. So I guess just grab a new Uma. You actually have quite a few brushes. Yeah, um, they're mostly dollar store brushes. So, they all suck. <laughs> Let me go for that really, what was that first blue I used? The peacock blue. That was a really powerful white blue. Shouldn't even be bother adding the white. I wonder what happens when I do that though. Eh. Do you think someone will buy this painting? I don't know. I'll put it for sale. And I'm going to sell it <clears throat> per square inch. A dollar a square inch. Seems reasonable. You think so? That means this painting would be $320. It's quite expensive for a painting. <laughs> you change your mind. No, that does not sound reasonable anymore. <laughs> I'll try some more of this white. Holy shit, that just really powers out. Smaller brush. Put some highlights on the microphone. Ain't really giving a crap. Some more highlights on here. Now, just go straight for black. Put some of this handle in here. Yeah, I usually detail this, but I don't know if I'll be detailing this one in the end. So, alright, now, this is where I'm imagining the XLR cord is going to be. I'm going to paint that going off in a different direction. Should use a smaller brush for that, but too late, it's been done. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna lay down baseline of skin color for you, which I use a brown and white. Oh, I think I painted over where I wanted your hair to be. That was a big problem. Your comically huge ear. <laughs> Put some emphasis on it now that I'm committed to it. supposed to be your big lips. They're like almost ridiculously <laughs> too big. Yeah, so it's a caricature you're doing. Huh? I'm doing a caricature. So if you're at the fair and this is happening, you'd be like, this wasted my time. This took like an hour to do. <laughs> I don't even know what the time is left on the camera. I'm not even going to look at it. I might even let the camera just turn off. Automatically fuck, fuck that shit up. This is on just YouTube, so I could swear all I want. And the only person that will get mad is the potential viewer. But no one's ever commented a negative thing on this. So if you'd like to post something negative, uh, post in the comments below. Post in the com no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's your hand, your clothes. Hmm. 
So go back to that. I dropped the pen. Like a maniac. So that's when you need your <laughs> Turn off the pen again. So you're going to be able to see this in the intermission. Are you going to take the opportunity to look at it? I don't know. Or are you going to want to keep it a surprise until the very end? Might yeah. just wait till the end, you know? You're the second guest I've ever had on the show. Uh, my very first guest was Alex Ethier. He was on my second episode. This is episode 10. I think I really need to work on some shading. Caricature art. I'm sure this is going to be worth $320 by the time it's over and done with. I'm going to put like some red in your cheeks. Just for fun. <laughs> There you go, now you kind of look like a clown. Oh my goodness. I guess it is a caricature. So. Don't worry, I'll save it. That's more of that brown. That's a different brown, but stick with the consistent. Oh my god, these paints are so old. They might be like three years old. It might be time to retire some of these colors. I got hardened. Got a little bit of red mixed in with this. Got a lot of red mixing in there. I got a lot of microphone mixed in your face there. <laughs> Should have been more considerate. Hey look, you covered up your mouth. mistakes. Happy little mistakes. So last time Alex's hair was brown too. But I fucked that shit up. So hard. So I'm gonna do it again. It's like trying to put the white highlights in. It kind of blends in to be gray. So I don't want to do any blending when I put in some white highlights. Your forehead melted in my painting. <laughs> my the proportions are all off. This one might be in the dollar bin. <laughs> it kind of looks like they have white highlights already. Alright. It's kind of like... I just won't go over the top. It's already too much. No, just don't do any blending. <laughs> Yeah, another reason why I have so many brushes is because I go through them so fast when I'm painting. I don't want to spend half my day cleaning brushes. Hmm. I should have saved. I'm going to have to clean the brushes on the intermission. Your eyes. I realize they're the line of your glasses. 
So now I have sunglasses. So you have no facial features whatsoever. Kind of fucked up there. I'm going to mix the color of your shirt, which I believe is teal. There's like a paint jam and like every freaking paint thing I go for. Ew, and you get this disgusting glob of paint. Ew. The struggles of the dollar store paint. Anyway, I'm gonna mix that with some blue. Get that glob of paint out of there. Need more blue. Fire your shirt. Teal is just like a blue and green mixed together. Makes this color. It's also like a really weak color compared to the other colors I'm using in the painting. Because they're all mixed with white. It's the first time I've used a professional-ish color. I need to go over that. See what happens if I mix some white into the... Looks almost too white. chunks so feel free to take up any of the dead space with some speaking talking <laughs> you know I have to though I know how much I have a demand that is on some people they can't speak and talk and can you speak and talking I don't really have too much to say you don't have anything to say If you have a platform now, someone might be watching. <laughs> All the pressure. <laughs> is that what you want to talk about? How much pressure there is? <laughs> Do some motivational speech. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even trying to make this look like you anymore. I'm just trying to like, <laughs> save the semblance of this picture somehow. It's like with any problem, you know, you gotta gotta do what you can and not worry about what you can't do. Oh, that's a good motivational. You're did you just pull that out of your ass? <laughs> no, I always I follow that philosophy. That's a philosophy you personally follow. Yeah, you live a very stress-free life. Right? There are some things, you know, that are just out of your control. But what? You just can't worry about that stuff. It's out of your control. I guess I can worry about painting your mustache right now. That's in my control. That is. That is. You were telling me some funny stories about uh, your own mustache hair. Was I? Well, it's hilarious to me because this is all natural. And you can't grow it naturally like this. I mean, good I don't it. grow it on the cheek. I don't grow any hair on the cheek. And that's just because you're native. You were saying. Yep. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's funny or not. You just got demonetized for laughing at <laughs> I got demonetized for laughing at me being native? I guess. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Alex wants this hits a million views. Get those 20 likes down below. Yeah. I don't think uh, I've ever gotten a million views. And I certainly don't think this is going to get me in. <laughs> Not with that can-do attitude. The one million view painting. You think this is going to get a million views? And because now I'm racist. <laughs> it's going to get demonetized. Hashtag GP is racist. <laughs> it's now a thing. Everybody spread it on Twitter. Some kids do nowadays, right? Yeah, if you're on Twitter, please. Maybe you can get me fired from my job. YouTube job. My YouTube job. This is literally the worst painting anybody's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's too wet. I'm trying to do too many layers at once. We should just we should do that intermission. We should find out how long it's been. Uh, we only have a few minutes left on the pain, on the thing anyway. <laughs> Joel Stewart talking on a microphone. Psychiatric painting was Perry. We'll be back after this short intermission. changes major changes to this painting yeah I don't think it's gonna be you anymore you actually had to look at it in between takes and it said it looked like Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> thought that was pretty cool do I need to hold the mic anymore I don't know no I don't have to Didn't fully dry, but I was kind of globbing paint on like a maniac. I'm gonna paint that microphone still. I don't think it's in the shot though, so we should be fine. <coughs> um, I'm going to paint the very best paint. Thanks for being on my show, man. Yeah, yeah. You're happy to be here? Inspired you to make Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> He's a... I gave him sunglasses. I'm not mic'd up like I normally am. I have a different kind of mic set up. I hope everything's running fine. I'm just covering up some, uh... Paper lines, some, uh, pencil lines, I mean. Kind of see them underneath. Didn't you use pen? Oh yeah, that's what it was. It was stupid of me to use pen. I own pencils. I was kind of hoping to keep some of the redness of that cheek. Oops. Really fucked that shit up. I should have put the glasses on last. Happy mistakes. Happy mistakes? <laughs> like you have a black eye here. <laughs> oh, man. Who did Iron Man lose to? The penguin. Penguin? Crossing universes.
like George Lopez thing happening here. The painting's evolving on its own. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about your musty-ish. Covered it up a little bit there. Brought to you free of charge via YouTube. Psychiatric painting with Perry. If you watch it and you want to influence the show, hit that like button down below. Hit that like button down <laughs> below. Fuck, that was good. <laughs> you write jingles for this show. <laughs> Uh, you should do some streaming, right? No. No, you don't? You no. used to do streaming. I was going to say we should pump it. But if you're not really streaming. No. Nope. Used to do Twitch. Twitch streaming. But what happened? No, I just kind of stopped. You gave up on your dreams? I guess so. <laughs> Are you ever going to stream again? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe you'll go back all inspired to start your own Twitch empire. It's very less likely to happen. You don't think that's going to happen? There are some people who make a lot of money doing Twitch, though. How do you make money doing Twitch? You got to beg for money? You sponsors, you got like, uh, people that subscribe and whatnot. And <laughs> get ads. Finish How much make money? Do people have to watch you? I don't know. For you to get money? I think you have to have like a constant of like I wanna say like seventy viewers or something like that. Seventy viewers. Yeah, and then you can start getting like money, I believe. I wonder how many it makes for on YouTube, how many viewers you need on a YouTube channel. That I don't know. It's probably a little bit more than 70. I'll say it's probably like in the thousands maybe. I would be impressed getting 70 views. If I could get 70 views. I think my very first psychiatric painting with Perry got about 70 views. But I had a black eye then. Multiple black eyes. I'm saving the painting right now. I'm using the new color of red too that I got. I'm liking it a lot more than the dollar store reds. That one gave me a hard time. This is like the next tier up from the dollar store? I suppose so. But it's not like the top tier of acrylics. Well, that's expensive. Oh. <laughs> Just a little tube of paint for like $40. I don't know, that kind of money. Maybe if I sell this one for $320. Which it will be for sale. For that much. Click the link down below. <laughs> I should set it up an Etsy shop. But I think I need a bank account first. Or a credit card or something, whatever. Buy like. art pieces by Garrett Perry and just have a little... Yeah, they're not really actually for sale yet, actually. So maybe that's a little premature. This one will be the first one for sale. Um... Yeah. What about all your other pieces, though? 
All the other pieces, they'll all be for sale at the art show when I have a not show. Hmm. Gotta work some detail on this big ear. <laughs> What, what, what big year? It's better for listening with, you know. Oh, is that right, Grandma? What big teeth you have. Better to eat you with, you know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like, you drew the microphone right where your nose should be. Too much paint. How's it looking so far? It's, uh, I don't think it's you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's looking pretty good. Uh, maybe I need to outline the Solon Funk somehow. Um, I think we're almost done. Too much. Oh, I don't even have the time set up properly. We're only 10 minutes in. <clears throat> it's going to be a long show. Alright, fixing the Solon Funk. Some layer of white. Whoops. Thank you, bud. Making it pop. Kinda looking pink. But what did you think was gonna happen? Mixing the white with the red. Hey, that's my song. It's pretty good. You think it would sell on iTunes? <laughs> Got awfully quiet there. <laughs> it's like someone doesn't believe in my dreams. <laughs> Maybe, you know, I just put a little more work into it. A little more work? <laughs> <laughs> Painting though. You think I have a future art career in painting? You could. You think I'm that good? You might. You might. At least not quiet on me. You never know until you try, you know. Low low price of three hundred and twenty dollars. Three hundred and twenty dollars. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here first. Get it before the prices go up. It's going to be $2 a square inch. Pretty soon it's going to be $6 a square inch. And I couldn't even multiply 6 times 30 to 320. You put your, your signature in the bottom corner afterwards? Yeah. I'm definitely going to do that. Worst paintbrush for that job. Just grab a new one. Grab an even bigger one. Why not?
I should get like a two of the good black paint next time I go shopping. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a really, really big canvas next. Comically big. A six foot canvas? A six foot canvas. Well, big enough. Oh, like fits through the door. Do a self portrait? A self portrait? I don't think so. I'm not that cool. What do you think you'd paint on that really big canvas? You know what? I have no fucking clue, actually. <laughs> Must be nearly done now. An artist is never truly done. Until they put their signature in the corner? I guess. <laughs> is that what I should do right now? I don't know. Have you ever returned to an art piece after you put the signature in the corner? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I've actually painted over pieces, started over from scratch. I don't do that so much. I just attempt to live with my failures. There, officially done. <laughs> Soul and funk. I'll let this dry and then I'll take a picture of it and then uh, I'll edit it out and I'll put it on the interwebs and then it'll be viral. And people hit that like button, million views. A million views. Would you like the experience of being a model? Yeah, it's alright. You know, you're gonna get a hundred subscribers, you just have to click that little. We'll button. get a we'll <laughs> hundred subscribers before you know it. Actually, I already have more than 100 subscribers. Oh, we hit that 200 subscribers? Yeah, we gotta hit that 200 subscriber mark, man. I'm only 75 subscribers away. Is a special art piece for the 200 subscriber? <laughs> Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Feels like I should do some more work on this painting already. Nah, I better call it a quits. Call it a quits, though. Let it all dry. Get it all dry. Maybe I'll count the paintbrushes. See how many paintbrushes I went through for the episode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. Believe it or not, twenty six paintbrushes to paint this crap. <laughs>